Oh, no. Keep. They were kidding around about her explosive diarrhea. Gonna ring the bell here. Get the bell. Get the bell. Get the bell. Get the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to USWO Late Night. In this match, the television belt is up for grabs. LT Falk, the challenger, taking on Slacker J. And Slacker looks like he might be dressed up for Halloween. Roxanne certainly is. Well, I tell you what, genius, whether they're dressed up for Halloween or not, the fans of USWO are, actually, are, are, are absolutely in for a treat this season. You've got Slacker J, in my opinion, he is the best singles wrestler here in the USWO, and, and, and that belt around his waist tells everybody he's the best. But he's going to be facing LT Falk tonight. LT Falk, he's a young wrestler. He's got a lot of heart, a lot of desire, a lot of fire, but I don't believe he's going to be uh, upsetting Slacker J tonight. I do not believe that's going to happen. Last week, these two wrestled, went to a double count out on the floor. Let's see if we can get a clean decision one way or another this week. LT, his arm being wrenched around, trying to flip out of it and does, reverses it on Slacker J. Well, I tell you, Jingus, right now, the cards are stacked in the favor of Slacker J. Slacker J does not have to beat LT Falk. LT Falk must beat Slacker J in order to relieve him of that gold around his waist. And also, Slacker J has a nice advantage over here in the corner, dressed like uh, Dorothy. Indeed, Roxanne doing her best Judy Garland impression. Tackle takes Slacker J down. LT comes back, ducks a clothesline, ducks the back elbow as well, reverses it around. Mexican arm drag takes Slacker over. American style does it again. LT is a great fan of that arm drag, and the clothesline just put the cap on it. And the experience of Slacker J getting out of the Watch ring, out. but not for long. Flip over splash from LT, sandwich Slacker J onto the floor. I hope we don't see another double count out out here. Well, like I said, LT Fall cannot win this match out here on the floor with Slacker J. He has to beat him in the confines of that ring over there. He must have just heard me because he just slung Slacker J back in. LT doesn't want us to make the same mistake as last week. However, match not over yet. Slacker J a long way from being beaten. Got the shoulder up. LT looking good early on in this match. He is. Ducks another clothesline, comes back. Spinning head scissors. Whoa. Ducks Slacker J right on his noggin. This match has been 100% LT Falk. Drop kick, drop kick. Takes him down again. Referee oh. counting, only a two count. Slacker J uh, rocking the old Goonie jersey, dressed as circa 2002 Slacker J. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, genius, just like in every great sport, oh. it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And he almost just finished LT. LT looks like he doesn't know where he's at after missing that one drop kick. Snap suplex. Look at Rolls this. over into the guillotine. I love that move right there. I love it. The front chancery of effective submission move by all accounts. Locked in on LT. Referee keeps asking LT, does he want to give it? From our vantage point, we can't tell. LT's face could be turning blue at this point. LT could be turning a shade to match any one of the colors on this mat from that hold. Oh, my goodness. Roxanne not happy at the LT chance. LT, very popular here in the USWO. People hopes this young man wins it. He might do it here, Sunset Flip. Oh, two. and a two count. Got the back elbow right to the side of the head. Ooh. That was all momentum right to the temple. He and hit stop to the other one. He hit LT with authority. LT must have said something about his mother because Slacker J got up with an attitude. Trying to crack LT's head like a walnut. Takes him back, clothesline. Oh! Criminy Christmas. Oh, I felt that over here. 
Oh, my true feelings on that can't be expressed on Comcast 74. We have standards and practices rules. Oh my goodness. He asked him trick or treat, and he just gave him a unwelcomed uh, trick. Mauling LT is the TV champ Slacker J, and he's just using the crowd. It's just making him matter. To everyone who's chanting his name, he's turning it to him and brutalizing him again. Slacker J taking the fans completely out of this match. And that and that's a great strategy. I tell you what, when you go into a hostile area and you know all the fans are not behind you, what you want to do is you want to take the fans out of the match. LT in a world of trouble. Stuck here in this camo clutch. The audience. Five minutes gone, 10 minutes to wrestle. Five minutes gone, 10 minutes to wrestle. Think LT heard the audience. He's slowly fought his way to his feet. Elbows into the gut of Slacker J. Comes back, ducks the clothesline. PDT on Slacker, who slumps over slowly. He could be out of it. However, LT so beaten up, having a hard time coming back, barely moving himself. I tell you, with all these high-risk maneuvers in this match and the punishment that's been dished out by both of these wrestlers, I don't see how they're continuing on at this pace. Oh. LT tried to get out of that, but gravity took its course, caught him anyway. He got him with it, but he didn't get the full brunt of it. Now, LT trying to get to those ropes, slacker on top of him immediately, and now takes him, sets him on the rope. What is slacker doing? Springboards into a leg drop across the head. I tell you what, like I said, this Slacker J, he is on top of his game at this point. I don't see anybody in the USWO uh, relieving him of his title. Going for it, no oh, Salto. Nobody be does it better. However, LT kicking out. LT Fox just got to be numb at this point. LT, I, I don't know what it would be like to be LT right now. I don't want to know. Slacker punishing him with chops in the corner. Takes LT, Irish whip, three point stance right into the boot. Double clothesline, both men had the same idea, both went down. I'm just wondering the factor. that I've been counting on this whole match. I've been waiting for Dorothy over here to turn into the Wicked Witch of the West. Wicked Witch, uh, yeah, uh, this is Comcast 74. We have to spell it with a W. Oh yeah. However, LT Falk looking for his own yellow brick road, fighting back on Slacker. Comes up like Larry and caught him. Booting Slacker back into the corner, not giving him any chance to rest. It's like a monkey flip. Slacker got taken over right into the center of the ring. LT Falk wants to think about how he can get it. Slacker J down on the mat and try to get a pinfall at this point. Oh! The ace cut an elbow right and to here, the noggin. Here comes Dorothy. Uh, she might wish that there was no place like home right now. She's going to find out that the lion does have a heart and the lion's name is LT Falk. LT's got her. Looking at it, what in the world? You gotta be. Oh! LT paid for that. And Slacker J says, if anybody's gonna tap that, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Indeed, referee counting. But LT's out. This is over. Oh. Oh, your K, winner the of the matchup and still USWO Television Champion. Slacker J! Jingus, I told you I didn't think he'd be relinquishing that title, but I tell you what, I may have to leave the broadcast booth and go up there and rub those blisters off of Miss Dorothy at this point. <laughs> Indeed, she may not sit down for a week, but however, Slacker J still retaining the title. We'll be right back. 